subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's me Ashish Johan from Ashville Creation. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your photo look like a moody photo. So let's um, let's get start to the Photoshop. Let's open the Photoshop now. Open the image which you want to edit. Now go to the quick selection tool and just press on the plus icon. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush from here. So just paint it all over the body of the subject and just right click on the subject and go to layer via copy or else you can also press the ctrl j button from the keyboard. Now we have done the layer of this uh, photo. <coughs> now all you have to do is just open the background. Now go to the file and click on open. and just browse the background where it is <coughs> now all you have to do is just select the background press ctrl a ctrl c to copy and just paste it below the background which we have uh, completely cut the image of the subject now just press the ctrl v to paste and just uh, Go to the edit and select the free transform tool to transform it or else you can also press the ctrl T button from the keyboard and just press alt and shift key to drag and increase or decrease the size of the image or the background in a proper way. <coughs> All you have to do is just go to this crop tool and select the area which you want in your image. Now let's just uh, incre uh, increase the crop tool image size by going from the left to right and select the area which you want in your image. Now this much area I want so just press the enter key from the keyboard or else you can also press the right click or uh, right mark from here and hit ok and here it is you have cropped the image now the thing is uh, we want let's undo by going by pressing ctrl alt z and I want this area from the background image so now it is open okay. now again we will crop the image by pressing the C or the crop tool now just press enter and uh, let's add some object to the subject now click on open and let's just add this blocks to the subject just press ctrl and ctrl c and just paste it over here by pressing ctrl v now press ctrl t from the keyboard to transform it <coughs> now increase the size of these uh, blocks and uh, go to the filter and select the blur and then gaussian blur and just blur it down to around 35 percent uh, 35 just hit ok now all you have to do is just uh, go to this adjustment layer and select the hue and saturation from here select this uh, down arrow key and decrease the saturation to 0% and uh, lightness to around 10 here you can see the difference we have decreased the lightness and uh, we have decreased the lightness and 
saturation of this block. Now just merge both the layers by right click on it and merge layers. Now we will put this block at this position. You can adjust it wherever you want to place these blocks. So I want to place this over here. Now just go to the adjustment layer and go to the color lookup. Now you can see the whole color lookup loots file. If you want this color lookup, I have already given in the description. You can find this link in the description and download it from there. All color lookup I have already given. So select this gold 5 or gold 4. Whatever the color lookup which suits you or which you want in your image, you can select from here. So I want this desaturated tone from here. This looks like a very moody photo and a classic one. So I go for this photo for this uh, color lookup. So now you have to do the final retouching that is the originalism gaining the originalism to the photo. Now just uh, select this or the create new layer from here and then select the brush tool or oh, and pick this uh, select this pick color and you can select this select the edge of this and select again the brush tool create a clipping mask or right click and select the create clipping mask now just paint it on the edge of the subject so that it will look very natural and realistic Increase the opacity. Just paint it all over the hair, edges of the hair to get more real look and natural touch. <coughs> now the last thing. I want to erase this so I will just erase this wanted area. Now just uh, merge both the layer. Let's see here it is remaining. So select again, select the brush tool, or else you can. I want to cut it down, so I'll select this pen tool. You can cut in a proper way. Press Alt key now and just select a very perfect way. I have completed no so I will just select and just merge the end of this pen tool. Now just press Ctrl and Enter key to select this area. Now go to the background layer and just select, or else you can press just Ctrl J to to copy that area. So here you can see the before and after. I will delete this area from this layer. First of all, I will just merge both the layers. <coughs> now I will delete this area from here. Increase the opacity to 100%. So now it is. I have 
deleted this area now just merge both the layers and again you have to do it just to create new layer select the brush tool pick the color to do the create clipping mask and just paint it over here just in a little way add this only you have to paint the edge add, of the hand Now just merge both the layers, I click on it and just select merge layers. I want to erase this one so I will just select this eraser too and add round brush and I will just fill it from here or else you can also select the pen tool and directly just select this whole area and press the control and enter key and just delete it now everything is completed let's make the hair of this object now just go to this uh, smudge tool and just you have to do is just move in the upward direction Like this way you have to make your hair smooth and very looking natural way. Here it is remaining so I will just decrease the size of the brush by pressing the bracket key from the keyboard or else you can also go to this brush tool and increase or decrease the size from here. All you have to do is just select the blur, blur tool and just blur the edge of this whole subject. Just to make it 100% the strength <coughs> and blur the edge of the subject. So that it may look like a natural way and it won't be looking that you have edited your photo. Blur also blur the edge of the hairs and again just uh, also blur the edge of the faces and just add a blur all the area of the short Here we have completed our blurring, let's blur over here also. And this part also you have to blur it.
Now the final thing is that uh, here everything I think it is completed so let's just uh, select this brush and just select mixer brush, brush tool make the wet to 40% load to 25% mix to 30% flow to 35% and just clean the face just like this to remove all the blemishes or unwanted scars from the face just only do a little bit of retouching on the face otherwise it will look uh, artificial and edited one we want to look it uh, more natural and realistic so we want clear or the remove more pimple from the face because otherwise it will look very unnatural now it's fine i think yes let's just also press uh, do the smudging around the neck area also from here also a little bit now everything is completed so the final image is this you can see the very moody photo and the classic photo editing here you can see the before and the after effect a huge difference right this one looks very moody and a classic photo so if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and if you are new to my channel just subscribe it and press the bell icon to get notified. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.